Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Grace. Today's video is going to be about the greatest story of your life. At the beginning of this year, I had to choose a new book to make my journal for 2023. That took me down the path of reading my previous journal, and it was a trip. I started keeping a journal in 2012 and have gotten more consistent about my writing with time. Reading my journal entries is like going back through time and reliving the craziness because that is all I really write about. The regular and normal days do not jolt me enough to warrant a good journal entry. They're just plain regular days with just about the same things and I may write a paragraph or two. The best entries I have read come with drama at work, disagreements with best friends, love interests, travel, excitement, and just the worst days of my life. These are the times that I write pages for a journal entry. I name names, throw people under imaginary buses, and end relationships. Reading these journal entries is the best reality show I have personally been cast as the main character. If you don't remember what you did in the last year or years, keep a journal and you will know exactly what. For the year 2022, I only have 16 missed entries. All the other days have something juicy for me to read. There are multiple benefits to keeping a journal, which include accountability. Because one can keep track of what is going on in their lives and what they are actually doing. This is something I have gotten so much value from because I have been accomplishing a lot of my plans in the last few years. I literally write down events that occur during each day so it does not go by in a blur. And I make sure to list at least one task to complete each day that is beneficial to my plans for the year. It is also cathartic, especially when you put pen to paper. Really opening up your mind and pouring your heart into a book. It's a non-judgmental therapist whom you can tell all your secrets when they are bothering you then older and wiser you can be the judge of your previous self. I also like the letters that I write to myself, especially when I have strong feelings about something. When I am happy, I write myself a letter in my journal about what, why, and how I feel that way. This is to acknowledge the feelings and also to remind my future self of that feeling, time and the source, so that I can replicate it whenever I need to. Letters are also written when I am sad to pinpoint the source and to acknowledge it. I usually do this for caution. Creating a roadmap for myself so that I do not feel this way again. I have written one whenever work became toxic, and those letters gave me the push to leave those work environments. The most educational letters are the ones on problem solving. I write them whenever I encounter challenging situations. I usually leave the page open so that I can come back and complete the entry with all the details of how a resolution was achieved.
Reading my journal entries, I am surprised with how much I have grown as a person and how far I have come. Some of the things that made me mad a few years ago are comedy today. My love interest at the time bewildered present me. And how I went about problem solving is just sad. I have grown now and doing much better, or so I think. I will find out next year in my 2023 journal when I read the greatest story of my life. I hope this inspires you to keep a journal and write your story. Thank you for watching and have a great day.